Hey guys, here we are again for the next video that's a part of my In My Pro Kit series. And today we're going to do skincare and primers. Now skincare and primers are something that's really very important and in my makeup kit because if my skin of my model doesn't look good, then my end product is not going to look good. So again, I have one of these little bags that fits in my Zuka Pro kit bag. And let me show you what's in there. So the first thing I've got is some cotton rounds and just some earbuds, obviously very important for a makeup artist kit. My makeup remover that I love using, I've only got one in my kit, is my Bioderma Sensibi H2O. Really, really love this. This is a small bottle, you can't buy this in store, they only sell it the bigger bottle. This is like a little sample bottle that they um, sent me. Um, really, really great eye makeup remover, great for sensitive skin, takes off waterproof makeup, so I love this makeup remover. Okay, what else do we have in here? Primer. This is a primer from Dermalogica called Skin Perfect Primer. Love this primer. I just don't use it a lot because it is expensive. But I will use this for, um, like I've got to do a beauty shoot and the skin's just got to have that soft luminous glow to it. I will use this. Um, it's not suited for dark skin, it only comes in one color. But it's got tiny like mineral pigments in it that has got a bit of a sheen or a, I don't want to say shimmer, but it just gives the skin a beautiful sheen. Love using this on myself as well. Um, next primer that I've got, this is my Micro Blur Skin Perfect. Factor. I received this recently and I tried it and it's amazing and um, for anybody that's got bigger pores it's just it's it's a lightweight skin smoother as it says on here and um, so really been loving my kills and um, micro blur the other primer so I don't use a lot of primer and um, I'll only use primer if needed but the other primer that I love using that really goes across the board for many many different skin types is my MAC prep and prime it also has a tiny bit of like a shimmery particle in it and it's just it's a beautiful primer I really enjoy this one as well and it goes as I said for quite a few different skin types but before I apply all my primers and stuff, I usually, um, I'll prep my skin first. So I'll make sure that my model's face is clean, that there's no makeup on her face. And to remove that, I'll use my Bioderma Sensibio, or I just buy a good quality makeup remover wipes. And I always buy the sensitive wipes. Just, I think it's the safer option to go for. So I'll make sure the skin is clean. Um, I don't have time to wash a face <laughs> on set, so I don't use face wash or tone or anything like that. And then I'll apply the appropriate moisturizer. And what I want to look for moisturizer always is something that is hydrating. If the skin is hydrated, then my primer will sit better. If I need a primer, my makeup will sit better. So the hydrating moisturizers that I love using, um, this one is from Bionique. It's called Defense Hydro 5. This brand um, is tailored towards people with sensitive skin so I always try to keep things on my kit that's suited for sensitive skin even if the skin isn't sensitive um, but this cream it's basically it's nickel free it's got no perfume in it it's got no gluten it's got no preservatives in it beautifully beautifully hydrating cream the other one that I've recently discovered that I also really love is um, the one from Nareva this is called cream hydrant 24 hour it's a moisturizing cream with quite a rich texture it absorbs it's also got no parabens in it um, it's just it's a beautiful moisturizer as well it's quite it's a bit thinner than this one it's got a bit of a thinner consistency but it absorbs beautifully and really really leaves the skin um, looking and feeling hydrated then if I have somebody that's got really oily skin I obviously um, I, I might mix in a little bit of the two hydrating ones but I need to make sure that the skin stays matte throughout the day without drying out the skin i find there's a lot of stuff that you can buy at like special effects shops and it's for oily skin and it's quite a like an, a solution that you put on and it just makes the skin feel tight and stuff we don't want to do that so we even if it's oily skin we need to keep it matte but we still need to look after it so for that i've got two things so the one moisturizer that I would use is this one from Pons. It's Lasting Oil Control Vanishing Cream. This one is normal to oily. They've got one that's like oily to oily skin. I don't know what it's called, but it's it's too potent. It's really just dry and it's too potent. With this one, I like, and I can also use it on dark skin without their skin looking um, gray. So love, love, love this one for oily skin. And then one of my little secrets that I have, um, I was working on a Nigerian TV commercial and I had a lot of Nigerian actors. It was a very, very, very hot time we were shooting. It was the end of last year. And I just had so much trouble keeping my actors matte throughout the day. And I would, you know, I would apply this cream, I would apply powder, and it just, it was just really, really challenging. And then I went hunting for solutions and I found 
this <laughs> milk of magnesia now milk of magnesia is an anti-acid you use for um babies i think but this stuff works so well when you just apply it on a cotton round and a thin layer of this onto the skin and the skin stays matte for so much longer. The only thing I have to have to say is you can't use this every single day because it's an anti-acid that's going to make your skin alkaline and when your skin is alkaline, bacteria starts flourishing. So it's great to use it if it's one or two, maximum three days, but I wouldn't do it longer than that because you need your skin's acid mantle to be active so that it can fight bacteria. So this is something I'll show you guys with a lot of caution. Um, I only use this if it's an emergency, if there's really no, um, no other option and it is hindering my workflow. Then sunscreen. Sunscreen is probably one of the most important things um, that you can have in your kit as a makeup artist or to put on yourself every day. But the sunscreens that I really love, let's see, for an oilier or normal to oilier skin, I love using my Bioderma. This is Photoderm Max SPA 50. Um, it says here it's got a dry touch. It definitely is. Also a thin cream absorbs beautifully, but it leaves me with a matte finish. Um, so I love using that one. Then the other two that I really enjoy is this one from Bioderma, the Cesar Bio um, SPA 50, which is really great for somebody that's got really reactive skin. Like um, it's, it says here it's soothing, repairing care um, for damaged skin or skin that was exposed to the sun. So they recommend that you put this on people that have been exposed to the sun. I just love using this on, on people that have got very sensitive skin and on kids, if I do a kid shoot, this is great. And then I received this little sample from Natural Lab. It's actually from Island Tribe and it's called Natural Lab SPF 30. It's an antioxidant rich natural face cream with organic ingredients. Um, really love this as well. It's just also a thin consistency, doesn't go oily, doesn't go sticky, doesn't go white. So I like this one as well. The other thing that I like keeping in my kits is something like this. It's a B Natural. It's basically a rapid burn recovery balm. Um, it's a great after sun. It's great for um, allergic and hypersensitive skins. It's a quite a healing product. It says um, it's free from lanolin, petroleum, aqueous cream, colorants, perfumes, preservatives. It's basically beeswax, um, non-irritated raw honey, pollen, avocado and sunflower oil. Um, so it's a really good product that's just got quite a lot of healing qualities in it. And I just decant it in a little small container like that. Let's see what else is in this bag. Um, this stuff, I don't know if you guys, if you find this anywhere else in the world, but in South Africa, it's called Prep Cream. This is really great. So I keep it on my kit for the men if they need to shave. So I've got two shaving blades in there and I keep this. This is also great if somebody's got sunburn or um, insect bites. Um, what else? Soothe chafing and rashes, um, soothe minor burns. So it's also just a great thing to have on hand as like in your little midi, midi kit. Also again, my medi kit's not in here. I do keep a little medi kit with me with plasters and headache tablets and tampons for the models. Um, so yeah, I think that's also a good tip, I hope, I think, <laughs> to keep a medi kit with you. Then the other things I have in here, I've got setting sprays. I've got one from Meron, the Barrier Spray and Blue Marble, a water-based film forming barrier to seal makeup. Love these two. And um, this one is a bit more hardcore than this one. Um, so this one I would use on like brides. And so they've also got one called Green Marble, which apparently is really like intensely waterproof. I haven't tried it yet. Um, quite a pricey product, but really a beautiful setting spray. This one I would use more for if I need to, you know, waterproof a tattoo or something like that. So that's my setting sprays. Another spray that I have is my MAC Fix Plus. And this I love as well. I'll spray it on before I put moisturizer on to really pump hydration into the skin. I'll spray it on afterwards to help set the makeup and just to give my skin a bit more of a dewy finish for um, my models and actors. And the other things I have in here, I've got this little, um, like a little shaving kit. You've got no idea how many times I've got it, you know, the model might have, or my actor might have a bit of a beard, or, you know, they might, the hairline might be overgrown, or there might be sideburns and I need to trim. And for the men as well, the men would come shaven, but they've missed a whole bunch of spots. So that's my little kit to sort that out. Then I have a scissor in here, always handy. Everybody needs a scissor all the time. In here, I've got some isopropyl, um, which is, I think it's an 80, 70 or 80% formula of pure alcohol and I use this to sanitize things so if I'm before I use my eye pencils I'll spritz them first before I use lip pencils my lip palettes I spritz this over to 
just sanitize my kits and make sure I don't give anybody some weird infection. Then I also have a shampoo and conditioner in here, which is really ridiculous that I keep this in my kit, but I've just been burnt a few times where the model arrives with seriously dirty hair. And then, you know, I just, so I just keep the little like Dove shampoo and conditioner in my kit so that I can make sure my model looks good once I'm done with her. The other thing I have is 8 hour cream. I kind of just keep this if there's any like really spot treatments. Um, but that said, I prefer using this. Bepanthin. Bepanthin is nappy rash cream, or it's also known as nipple cream. Um, so I kind of prefer this to my 8 hour cream, but there's some models that swear by, by the um, 8 hour cream, and I always make sure that I have a little one in my kit. And that's the skincare done. Um, if you guys can recommend any other products that I should be trying, please do. I would love, I always love trying um, new products. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you for my next video that's part of my In My Kit series.